Greetings, this is the latest from McCoy's News Center. The Crab Circle closure is not solely due to the viral defecation video. Mayor Delroy Williams of Kingston emphasized that the closure of Crab Circle was not a hasty response to a viral video displaying unsanitary behavior by a vendor. The health department took swift action last Thursday, ordering the immediate shutdown of the area after a vendor was caught on camera engaging in unhygienic practices including wiping herself after using a stall at one of the popular roadside food stands. Mayor Williams clarified that this incident was not an isolated one, as there have been other reported issues. He announced plans to provide additional training for the vendors to ensure they follow proper food handling procedures. Crab Circle is renowned for its delectable offerings, including soup, roast corn, roast yam, salt fish, jerk chicken, and boiled crab. Mayor Williams acknowledged that the process of reviewing and reopening Crab Circle could be a lengthy one, possibly spanning several months. He also acknowledged the challenges of installing restroom facilities in the area. Speaking on Nationwide at 5, Mayor Delroy Williams addressed the situation, shedding light on the developments. As for Alice Wall, the vendor at the center of the public health controversy at Crab Circle, she explained that she experienced sudden diarrhea after consuming a drink on an empty stomach. She clarified that whenever she needed to use the restroom, she walked approximately 10 minutes to a family member's home. A young student is confronting legal charges after fabricating their own abduction. In Negril, Westmoreland, a schoolba who is suspected of orchestrating a fake kidnapping to deceive his mother and obtain money will soon face charges, according to the police. The incident gained widespread attention on social media when a post, shared on Wednesday, displayed a photo of the schoolboy with a message claiming he had been abducted. The message alleged that he was forced to withdraw funds from both Jamaican and U.S. dollar accounts at Scotiabank and Negril, and had not been seen by his family since. Another post showed his mother in distress, pleading with the supposed kidnappers to take the money but spare her son's life. However, the police investigation ultimately revealed that the entire scenario had been fabricated by the young boy. Deputy Superintendent Sean J. Mitchell, the Zone 4 commander for Little London and Negril, stated in an interview with the Jamaica Observer, We did, in fact, receive a missing person report regarding the same child. Subsequently, we conducted investigations and located him in Green Island the following morning. Upon finding the boy, he was questioned by officers at the Green Island Police Station, and it became clear that he had planned the entire incident. Based on our interview with him on, we determined that he had masterminded his kidnapping to defraud his mother of money he had access to. He even claimed to the police that he was robbed of his wallet and cell phone. A search of his school bag revealed that both items were inside. The police officer disclosed. DSP Mitchell added, we have since taken a statement from him, and we are exploring the possibility of pressing charges against him, including charges related to creating public mischief. Mitchell emphasized that the police take all missing person reports seriously but cautioned individuals against attempting similar acts. He stated, We'd like to advise anyone contemplating such actions that it is a grave matter, particularly when we've had cases of real disappearances. There are alternative ways to resolve disputes with parents, guardians, or anyone else, without causing public panic. Subscribe to McCoy's News for breaking news and updates.